If your kids like to work out, have we got a personal trainer. If they're learning the alphabet, we can make it as easy as ABC. And when it's time to share, I'll only play with it for a minute. No, Zoe. Everybody gets a turn on Sesame Street with all new home videos that are full of new ways for your kids to count, to dance, and to learn. Plus book and tape sets and audio for new ways to read and listen. From Sesame Street, the place where the laughter and the learning never end. Play it again, Mom. Sesame Street Home Videos and Audio. Award-winning and original entertainment. Created especially for young imaginations. From Sony Wonder. Sesame Street presents William Wegman's Mother Goose. Here's Mother Goose and her big book of nursery rhymes. Welcome. And her son, Simon. Hello. Simon has been having trouble writing rhymes. Rub-a-dab-dib, three men in a pail. Mother Goose is going to try to teach Simon the art of rhyming. Do you have your notebook ready, Simon? I do. Good. It's easy for Mother Goose. You see, Mother Goose has inherited this gift from her mother, Grandmother Goose. Long ago, once upon a time, far, far away, lived an old woman, Old Mother Hubbard. Old Mother Hubbard went to her cupboard to give her poor dog a bone. When she came there, the cupboard was bare. And so the poor dog had none. Sorry, no bones. Cupboard, Hubbard, see how that works, Simon? I, th I do, I think so. Pay attention then. Here's another one of your grandmother's rhymes. Hello. Um, where was I? Oh yes. Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Way, way up the hill. Careful. Slippery. This way, Jill. I know, Jack. Here we are. The well. Hurry, Jack. Keep cranking. I am, Jill. Be careful. Okay, Jill. Oh, no! Jack fell down and broke his crown. Look, Jill. Tweety birds. And Jill came tumbling after. Pine cones, Jack. They had to go all the way to the top of the hill just to get water? Didn't they have faucets then? Simon, they didn't have the modern conveniences we do. How did they take a bath or brush their teeth? Who said they had teeth? No, no teeth? teeth. All right, moving along. Little Jack Horner. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating a Christmas pie. Mmm. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, Oh, 
What a good boy am I. Why is he in the corner? Does he have to stay in the corner? Yes, because corner rhymes with horner. Oh, horner. I get it. Oops. Those nursery rhymes were your grandmother's. Here's one I wrote. Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a, uh, uh, what are curds? Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Along came a spider who sat down beside her. Here's another rhyme. It's about tardiness. Ten o'clock scholar. 1588. Professor Chundal's geography class begins promptly at ten. Magellan. It's important to be on time. William the Conqueror. A diller a dollar. A ten o'clock scholar. It's almost eleven. Nina Pinto Santa Maria. What makes you come so soon? He said ironically. You used to come at ten o'clock, and now you come at noon. Where is that student of mine? Professor Chundo? You're late. What's with you? I brought you an apple. Tisk tisk. Class starts right at ten. Come in, take your seat. You used to come at ten o'clock, but now you come at noon. What time is it anyway? That's a good one. Very confusing. Was he early or late? I'm glad you liked it, Simon. It's got good rhythm. Now, here's another story about another Jack. Jack and Nori. I'll tell you a story about Jack and Nori. Who? Jack and Nori. And now my story's begun. I'll tell you another about his brother. Who? His brother. And now, my story is done. What's his brother's name? Oh, I see. The parents only named one of the brothers, and the other one didn't have a name. That's, that's a good story. He doesn't get it. Coffee and tea. Molly, my sister and I, fell out. And what do you think it was all about? She loved coffee, freshly brewed, and I loved tea. Try a cup. And that was the reason we couldn't agree. I love coffee. I love tea. Coffee is better than tea. There's black tea, Colombian, green tea, French roast, herbal tea, cappuccino. Mother Goose loves coffee and she loves tea. I know, I'll have cocoa. Little girl with a curl. There was a little girl who had a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. Where? Forehead. When she was good, she was very, very good. And when she was bad, she was horrid. I need help. Uh, I don't get this rhyming thing. Let's write a rhyme together. Okay. Go ahead. Think of a name. Jill. Okay, Joan. Joan. Little Jumping Joan. Here am I, Little Jumping Joan. When nobody's with me, I'm always alone. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Come on in, we're having a hoedown. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Yee-haw. 
We're having a party in our parlor. Care to dance? Cock a doodle doo. Join in. Everybody dance. Cock a doodle doo. Me too. Cock a doodle doo. Swing your partner. Sashay left. Dosi do. Swing your partner. Everybody, sashay. Cock a doodle doo. Look out. There goes the shoe. My dame has lost her shoe. Whoops. Goodness. My master's lost his fiddle stick and knows not what to do. Cock a doodle doo. What is my dame to do? Till master finds his fiddle stick, she'll dance without her shoe. Yee haw! Cock a doodle doo. Rub a dub doo. Rub a dub dib. Dab dib dab. Three men with three different jobs in one bucket. Not quite. Keep at it. Listen to my version. Rub a dub dub. Three men in a tub. And who do you think they be? Yes, who are they? They are the butcher. Pork chops, lamb chops, beef, fresh turkey, the baker, cakes, pies, muffins. What's he baking? A cake, donuts, a pie, cupcake. Perfect. Ah, oh, just right. The candlestick maker. Candles made daily. Blue ones. Red ones. They have yellow. Green. All colors. Chop, 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 chop. What are they doing in the tub? Turn them out. Knaves, all three. Get out of that tub. Jack of spades. Ten of diamonds. Queen of hearts. Is this your card? The queen of hearts? The tarts. The queen of hearts, she made some tarts. All on a summer day. The knave of hearts. I'll set them down to cool. Right here. The knave of hearts. We saw the tarts. Tarts. Mmm, tarts. Wow, what a neat kitchen. Pink. Mmm, red. Still warm. The knave of hearts. He stole the tarts and took them clean away. The king of hearts called for the tarts. Tarts! Hey, somebody took the tarts. Oh, uh, coming. I found these tarts in the hall. Out by the moat. Out in the back there. Under some stuff. The knave of hearts brought back the tarts and vowed he'd steal no more. Do I get a reward? Mmm, tarts. Worth the wait. <laughs> to market. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Gotta buy a pig, gotta get a pig. Jiggity jig, big fat pig. Do you have any pig? I'll see. No pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. Bye bye. Order more pig. To market, to market, to buy a fat hog. Gotta have a hog today, jiggity jog. Do you have hog? Uh, I don't think so. How about a nice pear? No, I gotta have a hog. Home again, home again, jiggity jog. Bye bye. Order more hog. To market, to market, to buy a plum bun. I'm in the mood for a plum bun. Gotta get a plum bun. Do you have plum bun? No bun. What, no plum bun? We have a plum. Home again, home again, market is done. No pig, no hog, no bun. Wait a minute, what's this? Is this one? This, this tastes like plum. 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 Purple. Stirple. Flurple. Although they rhyme, none of those are words. Uh, you don't like that? No, you work on it. Now here's one about an old woman who lived in a shoe. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. Oh my, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Where are they? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. I have so many children. What am I going to do? She gave them some broth without any bread. Then she recounted them and sent them to bed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I pray they're all here. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Did she really live in a shoe? What do you mean? Well, it must have been a really big shoe. That had to be big. She had a lot of children. Was it a left shoe or a right shoe? You usually get two shoes. Perhaps it was made for a person with only one foot. A monopode. A monopode? Only one foot? Gee. Rain. Rain. Go away. Come again. Another day. Little Johnny wants to play. Rain, rain. Go to Spain. Never come back again. <sighs> Choose a theme. I'm tired. Then develop it. I can't think of any. The seasons. October? Fall? No. Winter. Cold and raw, the north wind doth blow. Bleak in the morning early. All the hills are covered with snow. And winter's now come fairly. Look out. <laughs> Uh, summer is warm. Do not doubt it. And I need a pie fast. Pat a patty. Oh, give me that. Yes, mother. Let me see. How about pat a cake? Need rub. Look at the busy roll, baker. Roll, dust pinch need. What's he baking? Frost, pinch, need, dust dust. Pat a cake, pat a cake. Baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat a cake, pat a cake. Baker's man. This is going to be my best cake ever. Vanilla with chocolate frosting. Chocolate with vanilla frosting. Pat it. What did she say? Frost it. Prick it. And mark it with a B. And put it in the oven for baby and me. For your baby. My best cake ever. Lucy Lockett lost her pocket. I lost my pocket. Where is it? Here it is. I found it. Kitty Fisher found it. Nothing in it? It's empty. Nothing in it but the binding around it. Nothing around it but this binding. Hey, there's nothing in it. No money, no cards. I've got it. Come get it. I've been looking all over for that. Where'd you find it? Right here. Thanks, Kitty. You want it? Yes, please. Here, take it. Here it is. It's yours. Thanks. I'll have to sew it back on. Or bring it to Mother Goose. It goes right here. A little lower. Every lady in this land has 20 nails upon each hand. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five nails. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten nails. Five and twenty on hands and feet. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen nails. And on this foot, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty nails. Twenty nails on hands and feet. All this is true without deceit. Look at this rhyme, Simon. Jack be nimble. Here's Jack. Jack be nimble. Good. Jack be quick. How's this? Okay. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Uh, you didn't actually jump. You stepped over the candlestick. 
we wanted you to jump over the candlestick. Right. Okay, once more from the top. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jump over the candlestick. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. Jump. How about a round of applause for Jack? Little Bo Peep. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and can't tell where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home and bring their tails behind them. Over here. We're coming. We're over here behind the tree. I'm over here. Over across the little brook. Over here. Up on the knoll. Over here. Over here. We'll be right there. We're coming. Way over here. We're under the bridge. We're at the gate. We're coming home, Bo Peep. We're coming home. Nimble sheep, quick sheep, jack sheep. Simon, you still don't get it, do you? No, no more, more sheep. Grandmother would be appalled. Grandmother? Yes? Me? Oh yes, the old king lived in a castle down by the Rhine. What was his name? Old King Cole. Old King Cole was a merry old soul. A merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe. Pipe! Tweedledee, tweedledee. Pipe! Tweedledee, tweedledee, tweedledee. Tweedledee! Pipe! Your Majesty, your pipe. Tweedledum. Tweedledee, tweedledee. And he called for his bowl. Bowl. Tweedledum, tweedledee. Bowl. Tweedledee, tweedledee. Your bowl, your majesty, sir. Tweedledum. And he called for his fiddlers three. Fiddlers three, tweedledee, tweedledee. One and a two and a three. Every fiddler, he had a fine fiddle. And a very fine fiddle had he. Twee, tweedledee, tweedledee, went the fiddlers. Tweedledum. Tweedle, tweedle. Tweedledee, tweedledee. Humpty Dumpty sat on a... Um. Mother Goose is very concerned. Simon doesn't seem to be making much progress at all. Golden slumbers. Golden slumbers, kiss your eyes. Smiles awake you when you rise. Sleep, pretty wantons, do not cry and I will sing you a lullaby. Rock them, rock them, lullaby. I've got it. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. Sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty fell down. Look out. And broke and cracked into See the size of that egg? millions of pieces, and they couldn't be put back together again. Company halt. That's a good subject matter, but you've got to make it rhyme. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men cannot put Humpty Dumpty together again. You mean they put them together again? He was put together before once. Don't worry about rhyming, Simon. Just write your stories. You have a gift for prose. Maybe Simon should write stories. Yes, Simon, instead of rhymes, you should be writing prose. Articles, books, novels. War and Pieces, The Life and Times of Humpty Dumpty. The Great Goose Novel by Simon Goose. 
Well, okay. If not Simon, who then will carry on the tradition of me, Mother Goose? Maybe this little goose. Cock crow. Cocks crow in the morn to tell us to rise. They have a kind of an internal alarm clock. And he who lies late will never be wise. For early to bed and early to rise makes a puppy healthy, wealthy, and wise. Time to get up. Time to rhyme. Wake up. Rise and rhyme. Wake up, everybody. It's time to rhyme. Bye-bye. Look for these great products from Sesame Street. You're in for a spooky treat when Elmo says boo. Join Elmo as he visits the Count at his eerie castle. Together they share some of the scariest and funniest stories, jokes, and songs. It's an uproarious good time. And on board Book and Tape, there's more hilarious haunted fun with everyone's favorite little red monster in Who's Afraid of Elmo? Spooky around here, isn't it? You can count on Ernie to make learning numbers a musical delight. He's dropping by the Furry Arms Hotel to give Humphrey, Ingrid, and Benny the Bunny a song-filled lesson in one, two, three, count with me. It all adds up to a ringing good time. And on CD and audio cassette, you'll have a great time singing along with all your Sesame Street pals on kids' favorite songs, a musical treasury of best loved classics. Hey there, it's time to get up and dance. Move to the beat with Big Bird and his friends as they do the dog, do the jelly, and even do the airplane. You'll have a great time. And the party continues on CD and cassette with Sesame Street's hot, hot, hot dance songs featuring dance-happy Muppet versions of the Macarena and hot, hot, hot. We're ready to dance! Yeah. It's time to get silly with Sing Yourself Sillier at the Movies. New on video. Movie reviewers Oscar the Grouch and Telly Monster give the thumbs up and down to eight silly Sesame Street songs. This is a movie that is definitely Oscar worthy. And there's more musical mayhem on video cassette with Sing Yourself Silly. Then jump up and shout with the Count, Bert, Ernie, and Oscar the Grouch to the wacky sing along fun of silly songs on CD and audio cassette. Now that was silly! Growing up can be a little easier with Sesame Street's Kids Guide to Life series with two all new stories. Is it a story about the circus? No, it's about a whole lot more. Elmo and guest star Dennis Quaid help Telly learn all about telling the truth in this new, totally original video. And on book and tape, The Emperor's New Fur teaches that telling the truth is the noble thing to do. Collect the other titles in the series, Learning to Share on video cassette and Big Bird's Band Plays Together on book and tape. What do you do during quiet time? That's the question Big Bird asks in this brand new video. Oscar, Rosita, and special guest star Daphne Rubin Vega from the hit Broadway show Rent help Big Bird discover the many ways to make quiet time fun time, too. Wasn't that fun, Big yeah. Bird? Uh -huh. Plus, on board book and tape, 
Ernie shows how to get ready for sweet dreams with helpful advice and classic Sesame Street lullabies in Sleepy Time. And on CD and audio cassette, Elmo, Grover, and other Sesame Street friends sing warm and cuddly Dreamy Time songs. What makes exercising really fun? Elmo Size, made exclusively for home video, featuring special guests Cindy Lauper and the Sesame Street Kids, all hopping, stretching, jumping, and laughing their way through a feel-good musical workout no kid can resist. What's your favorite Sesame Street song? You'll find it on Sesame Street Platinum All-Time Favorites. It's a fun-filled who's who of Sesame Street superstars singing 20 best-loved hits. Hang the star upon the tree. It's Christmas again. On Sesame Street, excitement is in the air because Christmas is just around the corner. It's Santa Claus! But Santa's not the only guy with a fuzzy red suit. You are a furry little hero. Elmo Saves Christmas is the story of a little hero with a great uh -oh. big wish. Elmo wish it was Christmas every day. Careful what you wish for, Elmo. Today makes 124 Christmases. I have counted. Yes, thanks to Elmo, it's Christmas every day. Happy Independence Day, it's Christmas again. Join Charles Durning, Maya Angelou, Harvey Firestein, and all your Sesame Street friends. Christmas every day has got to stop. Plus a brand new friend, Lightning the Reindeer. Hi. Elmo Saves Christmas, a Christmas classic especially produced for home video. And don't forget Sesame Street Holiday Audio, a Sesame Street Christmas available on cassette and CD. And Elmo's Night Before Christmas book and tape. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good cookie. Only from Sony Wonder, wherever children's videos, CDs, cassettes, and book and tape sets are sold. <laughs>